tutorial. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to simply localize your app, make it multi-language supported um, with three or four steps. First, we're going to add easy localization to pubspan.yaml and then we create some translation files. And lastly, we add it, um, we use it in our main.dot. First, we're going to add the dependencies, easy localization and the um, latest version, we go packages get. After that, um, we go to the our root and then we add a directory, we call it sx or whatever you like. And inside access, we create some files. First is the um, English file, English, English version. Uh, be careful of the naming. First, we name. Uh, we give the language code. For example, if you're English, we we'll say U uh, E N, and then the country code. For example, the U S, and then we dot JSON. Okay, and inside that, we're going to um, give some strings. For example, you have title in your app. Say title, and I will give the strings. For example, welcome. Um, to the app, and maybe you have some content. Say um, this is content, just simply for for the demo purpose. And lastly, we have the button, button test, and I would say um, click me. Okay, and I want to remind you that um, remember it's double quotation, not the single quotation. For example, it doesn't work if you use the single quotation mark. Okay, and another thing, what if you want to? Insert something that you don't want to change. For example, the username. We use it. Um, use this method. Uh, insert a brackets inside this string, and then later on we will insert some test in it. So, if you want to insert something, you uh, give the brackets. And now we're going to add another file. For example, the um, traditional Chinese. We say the uh, zh for Chinese, and then the country code and then dot, co uh, dot json and similarly we have the same strings there and for a title maybe um, translate it quickly Okay, we now got two um, files for the translation and then we're going back to the pubspat.yaml and then we add it into um, the under the xx here. So on the xx we're going to add our file xx and then uh, for the first one we which is the en us dot Oh, capital letter, yen, uh, yen us dot j song, and then another file is the xx uh, z h h k dot j song. Okay, so remember to add this to your pub and then run the packages get again. Okay, and remember to um leave a space there run again okay and we add it to our pop site yaml we go to the main dot dot and then we um, import it into our main dot dot first we're going to import the follow localization dot dot and second we're going to import the flutter um sorry AC localization dot dot okay and first we're going to say that 
uh, the variable data is equal to the ESC localization provider dot of context dot data. So we get the data and then um, we run the material app with the ESC localization provider. And we have to give some um, fields. First is the data and then we refer to it as the data. All right, and then um, inside the material app, we're going to say the localization delegates. Localization delegates, and which is a list of something. So use uh, the square brackets. And first is the global material. So it is confusing. So you have to remember is the material. We have two things. Global material um, localization stock delegates and the second is the global widgets localization stock delegates. Okay. Be sure about that. And then the third one is the easy localization delegates. Remember it's the delegate, not the provider. And inside that we have two things to give. First is the no is the locale and which is the data dot locale and the second is the path. The path is where you, your uh, translation file sits. So which is the xx. Okay. And after that uh, we say the supported locales would be um locale of so similar to this just say en and comma and us so just directly copy that remember the capitalization and our second locale is um, set h and the country code would be hk okay and after that we say the locale would be the data dot save the locale and that's it for this part so um remember this steps and we go down and then we're gonna um make our app visible so inside the build method we say the variable data um would be is a localization provider this time and then dot of so this is similar to any um to provide uh, to use and provider for state um state management something pro provider and dot of contest and then um the dot data we're gonna return something we return we rob it with the provider first it's the easy localization provider and similar we give the data which is the data. And now we build our child. So we'll say the app bar, and then the title would be what the title what the title is, which is this one. Welcome to the app. So we use it now. We we'll say um, title. We use the test widget, and then we use app localizations. And then dot of contest and then now is the translate file. Refer to the to this key which is the title. Alright. And then um and this tab the app does some work. Why? Because we have to rob this with the easy localization. Just the name easy localization. And let's see, we run it again. And you will see oh it works. So we're going to implement uh the remain remaining first with the, the body 
be um, simply a column of it with safe area and then column we give two things first is the test and an outline button okay and for the test we use the same method but this time is the content okay and for the on press function we are going to switch the language and give the test um what's that the button test Okay, I give you to see the app. This is the content which we have here and the uh, test. So how do you change the language? Let's say uh, data dot change locale and let me say we change the locale to your language code which is ZH and the country code which is HK let's see that is it work yes that's it and we can't change it back because we have to uh, change it we have to make another button for English so we have another button so this time change it to we say this is uh, English And then we better warp it with a uh, set state. Similar for that set state. And let's see. Oh. So I figure out this. We shouldn't use the translation string we just here we say change to Chinese and this works perfect okay and how to insert something which don't change um remember we have the brackets here so inside the tl for translation we will say the arcs argument, argument and then we may give um unchanged for now let's see and reload you can see this doesn't change this doesn't change so this is how you um, implement the localization remember what the my app with the easy localization and then follow the steps here and you can um, make your app multi-language supported thank you